Hey guys, Bro Nine Millimeter USA here, and this is going to be a review video on the DPM Systems Multi Recoil Reduction System for the Beretta PX4 Storm Compact and 9mm or 40 something Wesson. So I'm going to show you first how to install it here, and then we'll go use it at the range. So we're going to use the middle spring as far as length. So that should be perfect for the 9mm. I'm thinking that you use the longest one for the 40 Smith & Wesson so that you have a uh, heavier spring to make sure that it doesn't, you know, run the gun so hard and decrease service life and stuff like that. Which this should actually, you know, make the service life longer as far as because of the uh, spring assembly having three different springs in it and stuff like that. So take that for what it's worth. Here is the Breda PX4 Storm Compact. I'm going to clean it off real fast. This just came out of the safe. Alright. So there we are right there. Uh, how you take this apart is very simple. You just pull back the slide, pull down the tabs, and then the slide comes off the frame. And this contraption right here is the reason why Demetrios wanted us to make a installation video for this guide rod assembly is because this is not normal. <laughs> so let's figure out how to take this apart. So this comes apart very easily. You just pull forward and pull out the spring assembly. So there it is right there. This is the captive one that is plastic as far as the guide rod. And I think you're going to reuse this part right here. So. Let's just install this into this, like so. Yep, looking like that's how it goes. So what you're going to do is you're going to line it up and get the uh, guide rod into the hole right below the barrel, and then you're going to line up these points right here as index points in the barrel, and that's what holds it in place with this design. So here it is, you guys, installed in the pistol, the Beretta PX4 Storm Compact. Here it is on that side. So what we have to do is you have to index this piece, this plastic piece with the metal insert right here into the barrel lug. And then this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and put the slide on the frame. Walk it back. So it definitely looks a little bit different in the pistol. You're going to have the stainless showing on the end. And it definitely feels different as far as when you rack the action. It's interesting, for sure. I don't like how difficult it is to install it, but that is what it is, you know. That was definitely the hardest uh, guide rod assembly I've ever had to install. So, um, that's the only conduit. We'll see how well it works. Alright you guys, so we're out of the range with the Beretta PX4 Compact, aka as Beretta Senior Cole did a couple years ago with a pit bull of pistols. <laughs> Alright, so this does have the DPM system guide rod in it right now. You can see it right there. So I showed you guys how to install it. It was a pain. Here we go. That was rather surprising how fast this gun is to shoot. <laughs> I mean, I always thought the trigger was pretty crappy on this gun, but it's actually not bad. Not bad for a plastic trigger. All right. I'm going to try to limp wrist it. Let's go double action first round. Hand. I'm barely holding this thing, you guys. Good. Smooth. 100% so far. See what you think of it with the DPM system guide rod assembly. All right, guys, we're shooting that six hour elite performance ammunition. It is the 115 grain full metal jacket traveling at 1185 feet per second. All right, guys, my Beretta PX4 Storm Compact. I've had this one for quite a while. I went ahead and sold the full size, but I kept the compact. I just like it a little bit better. Remember, when you put it on safe, it's a decocker, but it kills the trigger unless you so got a G model. So it's not the G model. 
make sure that you flip that switch back up. Really fast for double taps. I wasn't even looking for the sights. I was doing a little bit of point shooting there from 10 yards away. Um, can hit the target, no problem. Yeah, it shoots great, man. Still running 100%. It's always ran really well. It's never really given us any issues. And the DPM systems guide rod seems to work just fine. No problems at all. Very smooth. front sight post in there missed a couple from further out yeah it runs great the guide rod assembly is doing exactly what it should you know they're guaranteed not to malfunction they seem to do just that yeah the only one we've ever had problems with was one little malfunction with the Brody 96 and that was during the first magazine after that it ran you know 200 rounds no problems yeah I forgot what a good little shooter this gun is the Beretta PX4 Storm has a little bit of a following and it's easy to understand why. Can I see if it chambers properly just by dropping the slide release? No problems. <sighs> Two to the chest, one to the head. <laughs> Trigger isn't as good as any of the SIGs or some of the other Berettas, for sure. It just has a little bit of a longer reset on it, all the way out there. But it's a good gun, runs 100% with the DPM system. We're shooting under it a few times. Rushing yourself. I was dipping the front end a little bit. Well, the DPM Systems guide rod held up to everything. No surprise there, right? Remember guys, you get 10% off your entire order as far as DPM Systems if you use our discount code B9USA. So if you're interested in this product, go ahead and check out the links below this video in the description box. Yeah, right now that is an exclusive offer. It's not being offered by anybody else. So make sure you follow that if you guys are interested in this uh, recoil system. The dang thing works. If you want to try it out, uh, maybe get one for one of your favorite handguns and see if it works for you. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Beretta 9mm USA, for more guns and gear videos in the future.